Hey, let me take my glasses <laughs> off. Hey, shoes. Hello, folks. This is Bill at Bill Ruddick Outdoors, and I got my neighbor Terry. I'll introduce y'all to him in a little bit. He's going to help me put the putt putt in the river. We're going to go see if we can catch us a catfish. Folks, this here's my neighbor Terry. Maybe I can put him on a fish or two for his efforts. We're going to try anyway. <laughs> That's right. If there's one thing that just disgusts me to no end, it's this right here. Pure trash. Bottles. Cans. Ice cream salt. Ward's cup. Beer cans. Cigarette packs. Plastics. I'll pick all this stuff up before I leave. People ought to do better than this. That's all they are to it. They just ought to do better. That's a commercial bait, believe it or not. I've had stink bait before, that but is, I ain't never had one that smelled like this. That's what they call punch bait. It's punch got, bait. It's got fibers down in it, you can tell. Yep. And you fish it on the bear trail book. Mm. If you can get it stirred up good enough, I'll show you how in just a minute. Now, Terry, what we need to do is throw that thing out in front of that top. Uh, six feet or so it ain't got to be right up next against it because what's going to happen that current will take that stink down through that wood right and that fish laying up in that wood will smell it and they'll eventually come out and get that thing that's pretty close but we'll just let it sit there for a minute but i tell you what else the best thing the world you can do is put that thing in that rod holder and forget about it i appreciate you that that you invited man me you don't know up. you just wait, wait 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 don't jerk it you got to wait and let him take it I've seen people lose fish after fish with that. It's a, every other type of fishing is you're waiting for that nibble and you set the hook. But this, if you don't wait till he bowls that rod over, you're going to miss him nine times out of 10. Well, I think I missed him. Well, uh, we'll let it sit just a minute. A lot of times they'll come <laughs> back. But uh, man, I appreciate you going with me because this is just something, since I've had that stroke, I, I, can't, I can't unload that boat by myself and stuff. I got to have, I got to have a babysitter. <laughs> so I don't I, know now. I appreciate you going with me as much as you do me asking you, I guarantee you. I'm, I'm just glad I had a chance to go. Now, where are you at, Terry, so I don't throw over you? All right, see so the little stop right there in front of the right, boat? Right, yeah. About three foot in front of it. Okay, I'll, I'll go back over here on the left. Yeah, stay on your side. Of course, that don't mean nothing. I told y'all the other day, I throw it this way and I hear a big splash way over yonder. <laughs> oh. Oh. There it goes. <laughs> but the slip cart got it done. I floated that baby right down there in front of that tree. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> Success. <laughs> it did work, <laughs> believe it or not. Whether it works again, I don't know. We'll find out. Man, I love this rod. Uh, Mr. Rich Colson at Head First Custom Rods. Barely hooked, but he's hooked. <laughs> That's it. Hey, don't matter. He's in the boat. Oh, let's see, Terry. You want to keep some fish? Nah, it don't matter, boo. Uh, I, I don't think I can even operate a fillet knife and, and clean them, but we'll try. My wife's been want? throwing a fit. There's a pair of pliers in here. She's been throwing a fit. Because I ain't been able to skin no fish. <laughs> here, Terry, see if you can. Grab that hook and get it out. Where's the line? 
Here, let me have the fish. Yeah, so that'd probably be better. Got him too. I got him. Oh, he's a little bigger than that than I caught. Yeah. Come on in here, Hot Rod. Just yeah, a little bit bigger than yours. And Terry's hooked up. That bad boy. I think I'm going to beat you in size, Bill. That's okay. He ain't in the boat yet, Jack. That's true. He's in now. There oh, yeah. he is. He swallowed it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see nothing. <laughs> Stay out of that limb. Oh, man. <laughs> I've told y'all before, I had a knack for catching a tiny fish. I'm staying true to form. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> oh, don't get around that motor. Uh. <laughs> Another fish. Uh. My old pond's about to dry up. Now we sure do need some rain. Well, it's been a day or two since I was in the river fishing with my neighbor Terry. I was trying out a new uh, idea I had about the floating uh, cork down and where I wanted to fish on a slip bobber rig because my casting is not too good. Well, it worked okay, but after thinking about it for a day or two, there are some things I need to change. One is you don't just flip your bell or mash your button and drop it right off the boat and float it down to the timber. Especially in that little old river I fish in because there's not a whole lot of current. And it takes forever to float it down there. It's so slow. So what I ended up doing is making a little short cast and hoping it goes in a general direction. And then I could let my line loose and the current would take it on down there and I could flip my bell closed and stop it right in front of that timber and that weight take my bait down to the bottom and I caught some fish that way. So I'll have to put that back here in the old file in my bag of tricks so that I might could use it in the future. And always remember folks, whether you at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick Outdoors. See y'all.